Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I'll be working on this piece you see in front of me here. Um, I got it from my cousin. They had debated to pitch it and then kindly they thought of me and I'm always so impressed when I get pieces like this that are kind of old and hopeless looking and I love to just try to make them beautiful again. Uh, first when I saw this piece, I thought I would definitely try to restore it to its original glory. I love the color of it. I thought maybe if I just clean it up and uh, you know, sand it down a bit and maybe apply a polycrylic. Um, I can just make it look, you know, beautiful again as a dresser. But I have since started pulling on the drawers and they are just stuck. I know there's ways of, you know, improving that as far as you can use, you know, wax and soap to try to get them to slide easier. I've done that in the past. Sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't. And I'm pretty sure on this piece it will not work. I think it's too far gone. So I thought what I'd do is turn it into an island. I've done this before on pieces like this. They just make such great little islands for someone that maybe has a small kitchen, not a lot of room, and still would like to have that space, you know, in the center of their kitchen area for an island. So what I'll probably end up doing is the top two drawers are really extra stuck. So I'll probably just remove those and then the middle one also, and maybe just open up that space uh, for a an area to maybe store, you know, pots and pans. And then the bottom drawer, I think I'll be able to keep. It's not as bad as the others are. And of course, I have a few more little details I wanna add to make it look like an island. So join me as I work on this and we'll see how it goes. At one point, mice had found their way into these drawers. And let me tell you, if I could get the smell to you guys, you would probably agree with me. It's time to just get rid of them. Although it's kind of hard, they're really pretty. This Milwaukee hacksaw is one of my favorite tools. It definitely gets the job done. I love these little wood carvings that are along the bottom here, but as you can see, some of them are missing. So I may end up just taking everything off, but I think it definitely adds some pretty character to this piece. I need the shelf to be 16 and 3 quarter inch wide by around a 38 and a half long. And I wanted boards that kind of match the dresser. And the only ones I could find were from an old picket fence uh, just lying around here. They're pretty old, but I think I may be able to use them, you know, just sand them down really good and then give them a coat of polycrylic or something. table saw is still not working. Um, still haven't gotten another one. So thankfully these boards are just the right width here around 17 and 3 quarter so I won't even have to make a cut. I will need to cut notches into the front and the back board in order to allow for these posts here.
want to make a paper towel holder for the side of the island and I've made these before by using uh, just by using two by fours and then I have a just a small piece of wood maybe three fourth inch uh, square all around that will serve as the holder for the roll I gotta say, if I was in need of an island, I would probably keep this for myself. I'm just loving the look of it. Um, it's nothing fancy by any means, but it would definitely serve the purpose of just having a little space you know, to work on, especially for someone with a small kitchen. It would be just perfect. I hope you enjoyed the video and are maybe inspired to think twice before you know just discarding an old piece of furniture that you think uh, may not be of use anymore. Um, it's so much fun to just turn it into something beautiful again. And as always, I hope you guys are all having a great week. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in next week's video. Bye!